Why, hello there, everyone. It's me, the Kumo Sensei, aka Laxo, and today I am doing an unboxing video. And yes, this is 43 baby tarantulas. And while it's only one species, it is one amazing species. And that species is the Harpactera pulchropes, also known as the Golden Blue Leg Baboon tarantula. And this tarantula is a stunning tarantula. As babies, they have a really simple dual color to them but as they grow out they develop gold colors and beautiful blue legs and yes I'm just gonna go straight into it because I don't want to waste any time with this so I'm just going straight forward and unboxing this tarantula species now if you're wondering how I got all these babies well earlier this year I had a male that matured and I sent him on a loan and now it finally paid off as there are slings and those slings are being sent to me which I'm now unboxing and yes I have a lot to unbox so this is going to be sped up because I don't want to waste two hours unboxing one same species so I'm just going to make it to digestible bits into six minutes or so for you guys and the future plans for these babies is that I'm going to keep the majority of them just so I can grow them out and breed them again. And to be honest, I really don't want to breed for profit, to be honest. I just want to produce the species because I believe that everybody deserves to have some amazing species and they shouldn't have to pay too much for this. And this species in the United States averages around 40 to $55 for one sling which in my opinion it's way too overpriced compared to in the EU or in the UK which is way cheaper over there than over here. Pretty much tarantula prices are at their peak in the US for some reason so there's a lot of inflation and a lot of overpriced tarantulas so I would really like to make it cheaper to where anybody can afford them whether you're rich poor or whatever your upbringing is everybody should be able to have them now if you're wondering me myself i'm very broke so i'm just thankful to have the species in general but yeah i would really like to give back to the community because it just really doesn't make sense to make it that expensive no one deserves to pay that much now if you do the math there's 43 slings that i'm unboxing and let's say each one sells for 40 bucks. Now, if you did the multiplication, the total adds up to being $1,720. And which, that's just way too expensive. So, yeah, to each their own, I guess. I know that tarantula breeders and tarantula vendors, they will say it's a fair price. But for me, I really don't like that pricing. Because since I'm a poor and broke person, I view it as a, um, how should I say it, inflated price. Now, if you buy it in a wholesale, it would be half that price. So instead of 40, it would be $20 each. And for wholesale, normally they sell it in a lot of 10. So 10 slings times 20, that would be around 200 bucks. And to be honest, that's kind of more fair for the average person. But let's be honest no one wants to buy 10 slings because that's just a lot to take care of especially if it's just one species now normally people will not tell you this so i'm just gonna give you free knowledge so just consider this free advice from a tarantula breeder and a wholesaler i don't do retail because uh how should i explain it the retail space for tarantulas is very competitive so since it's competitive, it's very hard to make, you know, a sale. So what I do is I focus primarily on wholesale, which is I sell in lots. And yes, I don't get much from it, but at least I'm not stuck with hundreds of slings, which may or may not take a long time to sell. But in the future, though, I would really like to sell in retail, but sell it at a low price. So that way everybody can afford them whether you're rich or poor i know animal breeders they sell for profit but i really don't care i know i'm poor and broke but i think it's better if we just give back to the community instead of trying to turn into a profit because 
I just see it as selfish, honestly, but to each their own and I don't want to be bashed on by other tarantula breeders. So for anyone who's watching this, I hope that in the future, if you do decide to continue to tarantula breeding, which is very hard and competitive, my advice is to try to give back to the community. I don't know how, but just try to find a way. Because it's better if we do that. Everyone's happy, and who knows, maybe the favor might come back around. I really just have a lax approach to things, especially when it comes to tarantulas, because eh, I think sometimes people take it too seriously, but for me, we should enjoy it while we can, because who knows what will happen in the future, right? And this is about the end of the video, so this will be wrapping it up, and yes, this is a good successful rehouse, so give it a thumbs up. And yeah, with that, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, comment something down below because I would like to hear your thoughts on this. And also, please feel free to subscribe, like, and I have associated links down in the description down below. So feel free to check those out. And with that, I hope you guys stay lax and laxo out from the Kumo Sensei.